Well, recently uh, we asked you to vote for which key problem facing the world should receive a £10 million investment from the Longitude Prize. Now, you voted for antibiotic resistance, which the Prime Minister has since identified as something that worries him too. So, Tony Livesey has been to see how some cutting-edge research is being carried out with the help of leaf-cutting ants. Millions of lives have been saved around the world thanks to this man. Alexander Fleming, who discovered penicillin right here in Britain in 1928. While new diseases are identified every year, the last new antibiotic was discovered 24 years ago and bacteria are becoming more and more resistant to the existing ones. Finding a way to combat that resistance is occupying scientists around the world and that is where these little creatures come in. Ants. Scientists have been studying these leaf cutter ants from Central and South America. They produce their own antibiotics using bacteria on their bodies. And it's thought they might hold the key to antibiotic resistance. Scientists have been traveling the globe, harvesting plants, marine life and insects in their search for new antibiotics. And here at the Royal Society, this colony of ants belonging to Dr. Matt Hutchins from the University of East Anglia, have won a coveted place at the summer exhibition. The problem we have is that we evolve much more slowly than, than bacteria. So they have very clever tricks to evade the immune system and hide inside our bodies, sometimes inside our actual immune systems, so that we can't destroy them. Uh, and then we need some help. That's when we need antibiotics. So these ants have exactly the same problem that we have with disease. They also grow antibiotic producing bacteria on their bodies that they use in the same way we do. They use it to treat disease and we hope that they might be useful in human medicine. Why has this not been discovered before? That might seem a naive question. We only discovered about 10 years ago that the white covering on these ants are these bacteria. So nobody knew they were growing these bacteria until about 10 years ago. So what we do is we test this against bacteria that commonly infect humans and fungi that commonly infect humans. But this strain of bacteria is producing an antibiotic that kills the fungus. And you can see it's growing around it, but it can't grow anywhere near it. And we found quite a few strains that will inhibit candida, um, which is a common infection. And we found four strains that will inhibit something called Scidosporium, which you basically have a 0% chance of survival if you contract an infection. So pretty nasty things. And so what's the chances now of this being mass produced? We have a long way to go. So first of all, we have to work out what the antibiotic is and how it works. And then there'll be tests. You have to do tests to make sure it's not toxic to humans. Then it will go through clinical trials. In about 10 or 15 years, if all goes well, it will get to the clinic. So while we wait for the ants to do their stuff, what happens in the meantime? An estimated 25,000 people die every year in Europe from antibiotic resistant infections. 5,000 of them in the UK. The Prime Minister's commissioned a review into why so few new drugs have been developed in recent years. We are in danger of going back to the dark ages of medicine um, to see infections that uh, were treatable not be treatable. So the race is on. It's mankind versus bacteria. I've come to the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine to find out what might happen if the bacteria win. So what have we got here? Uh, so here we have um, MRSA and uh, you can see on here is spotted six discs that contain different antibiotics and you can see the growth of the bacteria all around the plate. But you see a zone here, a halo, and that indicates that for that antibiotic it's working, it's right. killing the bacteria. However, those four antibiotics aren't working so you can imagine if you're in a hospital and you were treated with those antibiotics, they wouldn't work. Yeah, but th obviously that is working. The danger, I guess, for you guys is if ultimately none of the six work and then you try another dish and none of those six work. And, that. and that's happening at this moment in time. There, there are some uh, uh, bacteria that are resistant to all of the antibiotics, and that's the big issue. That's frightening when you say it like that. Yeah. How worried are you? Just give me your doomsday scenario. The doomsday scenario is if I went home into my garden and pricked my finger on a thorn and I got a uh, blood poisoning and if that happened normally you think I could have an antibiotic that may not be available and you could have septicemia and die but the chances are remote at the moment but we have to be prepared we know that the instance of resistance is increasing more and more and you know now's the time to take action 
Well, there we are, it seems. Antibiotic resistance is one of the main threats to our future existence. Can a seemingly unimportant leaf cutter ant save mankind? It's become increasingly clear to me today. Something has to.